And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, for their works follow with them. Thou wilt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides thee. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Praise the name of the Lord. Today is a day of soberness where we remain conscious of who we are. Mortal beings under the covering and watchful eyes of Almighty God. And as the scripture reminds us every day, time and chance comes to every man there's a time to live and there's a time to die and chance everyone gets to experience the chance that all mortal men have to go through i want to open up in prayer Father, Lord, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, Lord, for this day. This is still the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we dedicate this service before you. And Lord, we pray for comfort for everyone that is here. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are still with us, and that your spirit and the eyes of your spirit are everywhere, watching to and fro the whole earth. Let your will be done, and let peace and comfort and safety be upon us today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we get into the song service, before we sing, let's have one of the members of the family give us a sobering thought from the word of God. All right? So let's listen with attentiveness and take it to heart what the Lord is saying from his word. and all, I want to say on the behalf of the Robley family, we extend great condolence to 
the family of the dead one. We understand the struggles of life. We know life is like this. These things do happen. But if we trust in God, if we put our confidence and accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, even though we depart from this world, is absent from this world, but to be present with the Lord. And I trust that each and every one may understand this. This should be the pillar of each and every one life that, that we can hold on to as we go about life journey. So I want to read God's word again to to support what I've just said. In Psalms 91 it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and broker. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror, terror by night, nor for the arrows that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that was up at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy feet against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and other, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample on the feet. Because he hath set his, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him and honor him. I will be with him in trouble. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. This is the person that know the Lord. This is the person that put faith and confidence in the Lord while they are on earth. And so wonderful words of comfort to one and all that we know that our sister, she has part this life is just to be absent from this world to be present with the Lord. So wonderful that the family could joy and be happy in her passing. Amen. Thank you for the sovereign word. We all take note of the word of the Lord. We want to, let me just continue by just sending condolences to the the Kens and Rubley's family and all those that are closely knitted to them. Condolences to the family. Amen. On behalf of my family and I and on behalf of the Speyside Pentecostal Church we and the board of the said church, we extend our heartfelt condolences to everyone. And we do wish God's richest blessing and comfort in this time of bereavement. All right, so we want to just celebrate the life of Sister Agnes. She has lived a full life and God is in control. But we know just as was said before, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And for that, I know for sure where she is, I have no question about it. Because that question was answered a long time ago. If a man die, shall he live again? That was answered by God giving us the mysteries of the next dimension. And so we know where she is and we know she is happy right now where she is. So we want to just sing a song. Amen. A sobering song of comfort 
and a song of reflection. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Amen. So if you know this song, I'm sure everyone knows it. You can join me as we sing together. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Oh, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Help me sing it. This is, this is my story. Oh, this is my song. Praising my Savior on the day long. This is my story. Oh, this is my song. Oh, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect submission. Perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, oh, echoes of mercies, whispers of love. This is. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Oh, this is my story, oh, this is my song, praising my Savior. On the day long, perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior, I'm happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness. Filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is mine, this is my story, oh, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long, oh, this is my story. This is my song, oh, praising my Savior on the day long. Blessed assurance, oh, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine, heir of salvation. Purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. Oh, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my song, oh, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, oh, echoes of mercies, whispers of love, oh, this 
is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Last verse, perfect submission. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I in my Savior. I'm happy and blessed. I'm watching and waiting. Looking above. Oh, filled with his goodness. Lost in his love. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior on the day long. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Oh, praising my Savior on the day long. This is, oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior on the day long. Oh, this is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior on the day long. Oh, praising my Savior on the day long. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, right now I want to hand you over to special. To a, okay, we have a special singing from our daughter. Amen. And so we want to um, bring her on. Okay, okay. All right, it's just a special. So just tune in. Hi, good morning everybody. I would just like to read a poem and it says, Don't cry for me. Don't cry for me, for now I am free. I have gone on to be in his presence, you see. I have lots of trials and pain in the past. And now I've gone to sweet rest at last. I've made many friends, I can't call their names. We had lots of good times good funs and games, but they know the day of my parting would come from this life on the other side, I'll meet some. To my children, Leslie, Stacy, Angelo, Stephanie and Dex, to my grandchildren, Jada, Daniela, Brittany, Stephan, Ashley, Isaiah, Sarah and Shania, your mommy and your grandmother as well. For here there's no sickness, it is as good as the book says. In the presence of the God is the place I now go. I'll cry no more. I'll weep no more. I'll bask in the light of his glory for sure. Among other saints and angel and high, far beyond the first heaven out there in the sky, I have something for those who don't know Jesus Christ. Repent, be baptized, give Jesus your life. And you too will be well in his presence to dwell forever and ever, where all will be well. Okay, we want to move on, all right, and we want to continue to sing songs of encouragement, all right. We want to sing when we all get to heaven, sing the wondrous love of Jesus, amen. And comfort yourself with this song, and you can join us, you could clap, you could sing, you could hum if you can't sing right now, 
and just just join together and sing a hopeful song, a lively song, a song of assurance. Let's sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Amen. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercies and his grace in the mansions bright and blessed he'll be here for us a place when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see jesus we will sing and shout the victory while we walk the pilgrim pathway clouds will overspread the sky but when traveling days are over not a shadow not a sigh oh when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be oh when we all see jesus we will sing and shout the victory let us then be true and faithful trusting serving every day just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay oh when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be oh when we all see jesus we will sing and shout the victory onward to the prize before us soon his beauty will be whole soon the pearly gates will open we shall tread the streets of gold oh when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be oh when we all see jesus we will sing and shout the victory let us then be true and faithful let us then be true and faithful trusting serving every day just one glimpse of him in glory will the toys of life repay come on when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be oh and we all see jesus we will sing and shout the victory one more time when we all when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be Oh, when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory one more time. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and Shout the victory. I need to add one. If I should die on a pilgrim journey, heaven is my home. If I should die on a pilgrim journey, heaven is my home. Heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. Heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. 
If I should live pure and holy, heaven is my home. If I should live pure and holy, heaven is my home. I tell you, heaven, heaven, oh, heaven is my home. Heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. Hallelujah. I'm going up on the morning train. Oh, I am going up on the morning train. Oh, I am going up on the morning train. For the evening train may be too late. Sister Agnes, you're going up. Come on, I am going up on the morning train. Hey, I am going up on the morning train. Whoa, I am going up on the morning train. For the evening train will be too late. Oh, come on, step right in and take your seat. Oh, step right in and take your seat. Oh, come on, step right in and take a seat. Come on, for the evening train will be too late. Oh, I am going up on the morning train. Oh, I am going up on the morning train. Oh, come on, sing. I am going up on the morning train. For the evening train, it'll be too late. So long, bye-bye. So long, bye-bye. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is a song of rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want to get into a little encouraging word. We want to get into a little encouraging word right now. And I want to I want to make this message a eulogize the sermon. Sermonette. Alright. I am going to just encourage based on my little experience with Sister Agnes Robley. Amen. I want to read a scripture verse. Alright. And I want to read from Genesis 27 verses 1 to I will stop where the point is made. It says and it came to pass that Isaac, when Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, I am here. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore I Therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison. Venison, sorry. And make me savory meat such as I love and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. Keep number four point. And Rebecca heard. And let, let's, let's leave it like that. Word from verses 4. And I want to bring a clear message. Sister Agnes, she died empty. And that's a good thing. She didn't die and carry anything about her to the grave and made the grave rich she died pouring all of her strength 
and all of herself to the ones she loved the most her own family now in this verse and Isaac was designing a special will and Isaac when he was old he called his son his heir and he was promising them something that was divine it was a promise of what God a promise that God had made to Abraham Abraham passed it on to Isaac when Isaac became old and weak he passed it on to his son who was eventually that is Jacob rather than Esau but nevertheless the point is that he passed on a divine oracle from himself and a promise to his children and it went on from generation to generation and I quote from one author and he said prayer is the main prayer is the type of thing that the soul pour out before they die and it's not the prayer by the lips only as the soul must be employed in the blessings of God so it must not be a blessing in itself for ourselves but for others also blessings will not come to the heart if it does not come from the heart the work of life must be done before we die for it cannot be done afterward ecclesiastes 9 10 and it is very desirable when we come to die to have nothing else to do but to die and isaac did what he had to do before he left this earth and i said this is a eulogized sermon because i want to talk about the good heart and the proper preparation that sister agnes made before she died i was privileged soon after the first lockdown i got a call from sister agnes and she called me and said come i want you to come by my house and i want you to pray and i got to understand her heart because my wife and I, we sat down and listened to her talk. And she expressed her heart. And she expressed what's troubling her. And she expressed what she wants to do. I believe she's the eldest of the family. Yes. And so she asked me to come and declare a blessing. And she expressed what she wanted. And just like we read before she passed we came and that was twice two Saturdays back to back we took the anointing oil and she went around after we spoke about what she wants to do spiritually and what she wants to happen to her generations that is what she was concerned about the blessings of her generation so we took the oil and she took the oil and she anointed the house and then she called her grandchildren and she anointed them and then she had a talk with them in her presence and told them about jesus and get and growing in jesus and she did give them a good sermon or a good encouragement and then she began we we were praying with her and she stood up and she said and we explained certain things about breaking generational curses and she said being the eldest she's going to stand on behalf of her forefathers her for parents and she's going to pray as the eldest for her generation and for her family and she stood as the eldest and she declared and broke 
generational curses and broke all kind of thing and we agree with her and we declare it in the name of Jesus and so she did and she did that with a, a fervent and a straight and a purposeful heart and she did it before she died she emptied out herself on behalf of her interests and now that prayer and that wish and that word is in the atmosphere for all those who will align themselves for the blessing just as what was read in the scripture so that everyone would, would fall in line with that blessing and that's what we did she called everyone those who were willing and those who wasn't came and she declared and we took the time and prayed and we declared although it was unfinished in terms of doing personal prayer with the grandchildren we did actually declare a blessing on all and that she did that and she said she what she have done in her past when she was young because she get to understand spiritual warfare and had a spiritual understanding of how things work and how to break certain things she said she don't want any one of her children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and children's children to follow the same trend she wanted to be broken and she poured all of her oh you know she's a little bit shy sometimes as far well that's what i get but she took bravery and made a declaration now those prayers are in the atmosphere and it hovers around waiting to accomplish what it needs to accomplish and she did all of that she may not have offered money she may not have offered any estates she may not have offered anything else but she offered the greatest riches of all to make sure that her generation become blessed And she's hoping to God as she joins with the witnesses in heaven. As the scripture says, they now there are clouds of witnesses looking down and cheering us on. Sing God. And I'm praying that this message, as I represent her deepest desire, knowing that she does not have the mouth to speak, but she would love for me to send the message across not to each and everyone to live your life with purpose and with the blessing and covering of the Lord for in God he can deliver and in God he can set free and there is a portion of life for you after this because there may be all kind of plagues and all kind of things that happen in this world but there is a place where this sickness cannot pass. There is an dimension that death cannot take over. And there it is. Yes, the scripture made it clear. And she is actually living it right now. She's living it up. Mansion greater than where she left. Mansion and seeing Jesus face to face. As the scripture says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord and when it comes to righteous people throughout the Bible except if it's for a specific purpose it does not mention death with the righteous is always sleeping our absent from the body only those two except it's for specific reason to mention of our mortality as the scripture says, precious is the eyes in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his saints. And when he talk about those two scriptures, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And precious is the eyes of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his saints. God is one of the most happiest persons, for he is always waiting. For the ones that accepted him to meet with him so he could take care of them the best in, in with all the riches of glory and no one will have lack anymore we may have lack here precious in the eyes of the lord are the ones 
who are separated from the body and meet him face to face. He's always waiting to meet us. It's the death of his saints. Today, she left empty. She emptied her whole self to her family, to her generations, and she left peaceful and she left with completing her purpose. She left completing her purpose and she left doing it well. And she had nothing else to offer but the best before she left. Something that is hovering around to bless her children and grandchildren. And all her last words when we spoke was she is hoping that everyone will fall into the blessing she declared and that the things that may have been a generational curse will never follow them again. Whether it be sickness through bloodline or whether it be curses or trends that will never happen to them. And on her behalf, as I conclude, I declare and seal the prayer as I stand behind the deceased that everyone that she have represented, her sisters, her nieces, her nephews, her immediate family, grands, great grands, that the word of blessing that she left and the riches, the greatest riches in her heart will now visit them. That the prayer will become a memorial before the face of the Lord and the angels of the Lord that encamps around them, whether they realize it or not, will be able to hold them up and keep them. And that the blessings Oh, that the promises that she had declared from God by the word of God begin to touch them and be and goodness and mercies shall follow them all the days of their lives if they only keep close to the covenant made by now before parent that is going on to be with the Lord, that the word will come alive and it will be alive in them. That generations after generations will get the blessings that she set in place for every one of them in Jesus' precious name. Lord, I pray for the family. Touch them in this time of grief. Not all could have been here, but we understand the circumstances. Comfort their hearts. Let not bitterness get into the way in any part or anything at all. Let not confusion, agony, fight, or anything get into the way. Let there be a greater bond, a greater understanding, and a Lord, a unity more than ever before. And Lord, I declare, oh Lord God, that they'll be comforted in every way. I thank you for hearing their prayers. Thank you for blessing them in a time like this. I declare now that death will not sting them. None will pass, O oh Lord, before their time. I rebuke the grim reaper. I rebuke death. I rebuke every form of stroke, every form of evil. I rebuke every form of plagues. I declare, Lord, no plague shall come near their dwelling. Lord, that the, the arrows that fly at noonday and the destruction that wastes at noonday will not be a covenant to them to take them out, nor the pestilence that roam at night, Lord God Almighty, so that they will say, the Lord, hallelujah, is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear. The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? I thank you Lord for blessing. I thank you Lord for your word. And I thank you Lord for your kindness. I thank you again in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And we want to conclude by committing the body. Amen.
So we are going to do such. Right, so I would like to call the agency. Or those who are going to carry the box. And we're going to carry our sister's body to her final resting place as we organize. Okay? So may God bless you as we continue the procession down to the graveside.
thy soul. Risen my Savior, all the day long, oh, this is my song, this is my song. Risen my Savior, all the day long, this is my song. This is my song, praise in my Savior, all the day long, oh, this is my story, this is my song, oh, praise in my Savior, all the day long, one more time, this is my song, this is my song, praise in my Savior, all the day long. This is my song, this is my song, praise in my Savior, all the day long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just sing the same for us. If I should die on a pilgrim tree, heaven is my home. If I should die on a pilgrim tree, heaven is my home. Oh, heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. Heaven, heaven, oh, heaven is my home. Oh, if I should live pure and holy, heaven is my home. If I should live pure and holy, heaven is my home. I'll tell you, heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. Heaven, heaven, heaven is my home. If I should die on a pilgrim journey, heaven is my home. Oh, if I should die on a pilgrim journey, heaven is my home. Come on, heaven, come on, heaven, help me sing, heaven. Oh, one by no. Praise the name of Jesus. 
like a stream running down. It makes me feel so happy, go oh, happy as can be. When I think of Jesus and what he has done for me, oh, there's something in my heart like a stream running down. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, there is something
in the face is from the dean song the song time look at the time he's coming at the end song the song time oh look at the time he's coming at the end song the song time come on everybody he's coming at the end song the song time oh jesus christ is coming at the end song the song time come on look at the hour he's coming at the end song the song time come on look at the time he's coming at the end song the Thank you. 